guys, it's Chantel with Wildberry Quilting. And today we are sewing block number four in the Barn Star Quilt Along. And that is going to be the Tulip Star block. So let's get started. All right, so we are doing our Tulip Star, which is block four for our Barn Star block of the month. And the first thing that we are doing is we are taking our A pieces and our B pieces and we're just sewing them side by side like this. Now, one thing that is helpful since these are, they really have no extra give is having a quarter inch, a perfect quarter inch foot. And then you can always move your needle over just one space. It really doesn't have to be anything more than that. Just one space over and it'll make a big difference. All right, so now I have G and F pieces. I'm going to be taking my G and an F piece and I'm just going to sew diagonal seam right along here on the right hand side of my G pieces. And I want to make eight of these if I'm doing two blocks. If I'm just doing a single block, then you'll make four. Now I have my H pieces and my F pieces, the remainder of my F pieces. This time we are going to be putting the F block in the left hand corner and we are going to sew at a diagonal going this way. As you can see, it really makes a lot shorter work having one of these seam guides on your sewing machine because it makes it so that you don't have to go through and mark draw a line on all of these blocks. You can just line it up and line it up down here and stitch. As long as you keep it on the corresponding line, it will give you a very nice, accurate seam. All right, so now we have our I pieces and our J pieces, and we are just going to sew them together like this. All right, so now I have these unit pieces, and I am going to be attaching piece C to the top like this. All right, so we have this unit piece and we have piece C and we are going to attach them to the side like this. Now we have these unit pieces and we are going to be attaching E to the side like this. All right, so now we have these units and our F pieces. And we are going to snowball either side of these units and just stitch right along the side here and then right along the side here. So let's do that. So now 
now we have these units and we have these. We are going to attach them like this. So now we are on to these unit pieces and these, and we are going to be joining them together like this. Now we have our flower units and we have these and we are going to join them together like this. And we are only going to join together four of these. Do not sew up all of the ones that you have because some of them are going to be for the center piece. Now we have these pieces and these are our K pieces and we are going to join them just like this. And we should have two of these to join together along with two K pieces. So now we have our pieces look like this and we are going to take the other pieces that we did not use. We have two of these units left and we are going to attach them to the other side of these K pieces. All right, so now our pieces look like this and we are going to take our remaining four flower blocks and attach them to the other side like this. So now we have these rows and these rows and we are going to just be joining our rows together. All right guys. So this is our finished block. This is the tulip star. And I think it's just adorable. And look at this little bee. He came out right in the middle of this flower. Such serendipity. I love it. <laughs> and of course we made two of those if we are doing them for the quilt. So. <laughs> If you enjoyed this, please remember to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.